Hi, what's your name? Uh, Sarah. Sarah, hi, Sarah. What's going on? I'm good, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's very early here. Oh, what time? Where Where I'm are you from? I'm from the UK. Uh huh. It's like six. Well, it's almost seven a.m. here. Are you so, Why are you up so early? For you, of course. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is the first time that I'm doing this. Also, this is a really new feature, so I'm glad to have you on the stream. Um, yeah, ask away if you have any questions or if you want me to sing anything for you. Let me know. But yeah, let me. What's up? I remember you mentioned before that um, for a while you felt like you weren't very confident in the music you were writing and how it um, made you not want to write anything. Um, so, like, as a fellow creative, um, I also feel quite insecure about why I write, like, a lot of the time. Um, so I wanted to know, like, what do you think helps you to, like, overcome the barrier to, um, like, starting your creative process? That's a really good question. For me, I've tried to focus on um, what... So one thing that's helped me a lot... Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Before I get off track, because I think I was going, I was already going off on like a tangent four miles away. What was the question again? It was, uh, what do you think helps you to overcome the barrier to starting um, your creative process? Okay, yeah, that's a really good question. I personally um, start off with, if I'm feeling overwhelmed with things that I have to do, for example, like I feel like I have to write a song or I have to write lyrics and You know, you know, you're you're giving yourself unnecessary pressure, which is why I feel like you might be stuck in a creative rut. Otherwise, if you weren't pressuring yourself to do it, it would just flow, correct? Yeah, I think it is because I feel like recently I've been so much like I really want to like put something out there, and Or, I, yeah. So I'm definitely like pressuring myself a bit. Yeah. Um. There's this. I, I, I don't know, you might call it something different, but for me, my theory is there's a need to humble ourselves as creatives. We might have too much of a high expectation that we put on ourselves. And I felt like that was the case for me. I took, I would take on things that were out, well, I would expect impossible things from myself, which would put so much pressure on me and being a perfectionist or whatever it 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 really doesn't help with the creative process that's the number one uh killer for creativity is perfectionism right you agree with that right yeah yeah and yeah, so I definitely have that too. yeah so i feel like we have to make realistic goals and in terms of achieving those goals um Like already, if you put realistic goal, if you make realistic goals for yourself, they're so much more achievable. You don't have to move mountains every single day. You can just take baby steps and like towards that bigger goal, right? And already, there's so much less pressure on yourself. In in order, in terms of achieving those goals, I feel like action inspires inspiration and inspiration creates motivation there's this like video on youtube that i watched that explains this whole cycle but you can start anywhere in these three things like you don't always have to be motivated to do to take action sometimes action can inspire inspiration and motivation also for me what's been helping is i sit down and if i'm stuck creatively I make it a point and a goal to write a really shitty song. <laughs> take off all the pressure from yourself and make it a goal to write. Um, what What is your creative field? I, I write music. You write music write also. Music. Make yeah, it a yeah. point to write a really, really bad song. Try to. Mm -hmm. And you'll be surprised at what comes out. It might be It might be something actually bad like to your standards or it might be um something really good i recently that's how i try to take it um a step at a time take the pressure off yourself and just have fun and if you lose the ability to have fun i feel like that's when you get stuck creatively so make it a goal for that day to write a really bad song <laughs> try to 
and you'll be surprised at the results. You want me to sing you a song? If you have a request or any um, more questions, I'm down. If you could do um, Bruno Major, um, I don't know if you've done it before, um, The Most Beautiful Thing. I'm Ooh, really the right most now. beautiful thing that I have ever seen. I don't, I have never, I don't think I've ever played it, but I can try. Because I do know the song. The most beautiful thing. Or since you're a songwriter, can I actually, are you a guitarist or, or a pianist? I'm a guitarist. <laughs> Could I actually hear a really short song of yours? Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that is that too much to ask? Oh, it's it's I don't want right I really don't want to pressure you. Don't do not worry at all, but I'm just really oh, curious. I could. could I hear it please? Yeah. Yeah, if you just give me 2 seconds, I'll just grab my guitar. Okay. Yeah, take your time. I pulled the Uno reverse card. That's right. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need a minute to let the pain pass me. Sarah, that was beautiful. Thank you. That was so good. That's the first time I've like played that much of it. Chat is going of off right now. I don't know if you can see chat, but it, they love you. Whatever creative rut um, that you're stuck in right now, I, yeah, don't worry. It'll pass it, and it'll come back again and it'll pass again. I'm sure it will. Um, but yeah, I want you to take that pressure off yourself because there's no need for it. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. You have a lovely voice and <laughs> Thank you. take your time with the process because it does take time. There's no need to rush. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that was, that was amazing. But yeah, thank you so much for coming on. Of course. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was amazing. Wow.